Hello. Are keep talking, keep talking. Keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. Hello guys and welcome to Motor Beam. Now you've already seen the review videos of the new Himalayan which is on my right but this is the BS4 Himalayan. Technically they are the same motorcycles from their heart and from the chassis and everything else too. So what is really new? Well to find that out I've got Neha here who will tell us the differences because she has not seen the actual videos, review videos of the new Himalayan. So let's call her and we'll see if a normal person can tell us the differences of both the bikes. So let's go. But before we begin, subscribe to Motor Beam and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Now, as I said, clap karu kya? Now, as I said, the changes are more visual. So, let's bring in Neha. Neha, come here. This is our book. This is our pen. And we are going to study. We are going to review. We are going to review. Okay. Differences so? find out. Karne wale hai. Here you go. Here's your pen. I'll give you 20 seconds. Look at the bike completely and then tell me what are the differences between that bike and this one. Okay, I'm done. Okay? Yes. Superb. So, huh, it's quite a superb. Uh, can you tell me what are the differences that you could see visually? So first, I'll start with the color. Okay, colors, yes. This is the new color that we have got. One, correct. Second is uh, the meters. Okay. The instrument console. Okay. Third? Third is a rear seat. I find this one is on the higher side. Okay. A, a very minute, not that much, much. Okay. But the minute one. Okay. And seat difference, correct. Seat difference, okay. And the fourth one would be the, I don't know, somehow. This one is a little choto and this one is a little big in size. Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's like a minute, not that much, much. And Are you sure it's the light? Is there a hint? <laughs> tires? So tires are replaced. So the tires are replaced. Tire size is the same. So we cannot count that. Okay. So I guess there are two more changes. Just two more. Hmm. Tick tick neha. Tick tick. Go. I hard jongi. No, I'm so sorry. Okay. So this ends here. Neha got three correct. The color is new. The rear section, well, not the seat, but this thing, the load carrying area, that is new. Then the meter is correct. Here the visor has become bigger. Uh, that is what sorry, the difference is. And yeah. the last difference is this jerry can holder. You can see the design is more squarish oh, here. Yes. And here it is a bit more shaped like a diamond. That is the difference that most people cannot make out. So technically, to say you guys, both the motorcycle look exactly the same and there's nothing different for 2021. What is up with Royal Enfield, huh? Only bikers can understand the difference and that even it's just a minute. Like for me being non-biker, I just spotted four, three. Three, four. Yeah, correct. So that's about the visual differences and what actually Royal Enfield is giving. But let's find out and ride the 2021 Himalayan and let's see what is the difference in power and torque and all of that as well. Visual changes, not much. Ergonomically, still the same. So what is basically new in this motorcycle? Nothing actually. For the BS6 update, the motorcycle was updated in a much better manner and you had to pay close to 2,45,000 rupees. Now this granite black color is a brand new granite black and for this color, you have to pay 2,54,000 rupees on road. Two and a half lakh rupees more on road Mumbai, that is quite the price. You have to pay somewhere about the same amount for the pine green color, which is the new color. For that color, the opinions might be polarizing. Some might like it, some might not. 
but the one thing that everybody likes is this black color and the only reason that they made this costlier is because for the last iteration everyone was picking up this color so much and it became very famous there was one difference that neha missed for sure that is because that the seat is a little bit more cushioned for the rider over here so you can see that the contour is a little bit different and the seat cushioning is a little bit harder so this seat is actually a bit more robust for long distance riding although it was not as bad in the bs4 variant and it was not bad either for the touring seat that was an accessory we got why did royal enfield do this because of the price hike maybe but why are they fixing what's not broken question i don't understand there's one thing i definitely understand is that this luggage rack can take on more weight and this is a proper base plate so you can properly mount a top box or carry your luggage anywhere this becomes definitely handy the triple meter works really well you can connect it to your phone here's a clip of how you can connect it there's a logo that comes as soon as you open the app go on to navigate click on the helmet button and then you enter the code right then there once you've input the directions in the phone you can get the navigation details right to the edge on the tripper section although for a personal opinion this tripper meter feels like an afterthought because it is mounted separately and there's a there are wires going right below it a little more finesse would have worked even better ergonomically this one has not come in handy for me as much as it has come for gandhar as you can see in this clip that he's riding his bike his knees are almost touching over here on his bike but on the new himalayan it's pretty clear everyone was expecting a 650 cc motor for the new himalayan but things are still the same you still get a 411 cc motor which produces 24.3 bhp of power and 32 newton meters of torque although there is a minor change that has happened that the ecu tune has been updated so the low end is a little bit slower however the top end is a little bit more engaging so you can get a better top speed and you can cruise at higher speeds for much longer so 100 to 120 km per hour cruising is just a breeze although for comparison test we have done a v box test and you can see the 0 to 100 difference right over here It is a tad bit quicker for 0 to 100 run but for in gear accelerations in 3rd, 4th and 5th gear this motorcycle is slightly slower. Now this has become even easier actually nothing has become more different but there is no locking area over here so even if you are pillion you won't hit your leg here. For the rider this position is very comfortable but for any person taller than me the handlebar rises are definitely necessary except for that the ergonomics still the same, riding dynamics still the same. Chassis setup still the same, does not break this time since the BS6 update has happened and yes the suspension setup still the same. So the off-road capabilities have not hindered anymore. This motorcycle is a perfect entry level adventure motorcycle for anyone who is looking for long distance touring and yes want to go anywhere. Royal Enfield definitely says that this motorcycle is made for the road and made for no roads as well. This one can definitely do that. For the last BS6 iteration and from the BS4 you can see on this motorcycle as well that the underplate, the bash plate does not cover the exhaust so if you encounter very bad roads the exhaust might break. That is a bit of an issue but you can get aftermarket bash plates and you can get that covered. You can see that the stand is a very sturdy unit and I have jumped this motorcycle quite a few times. There is one thing definitely for sure that this, the older motorcycle hits the stand, the main stand on each and every speed breaker on each and every bump. The springs over here have become stronger and the mounting has become even better so the main stand does not hit the bumps. At the end of the day I have to definitely say that you've got a set of accessories which do not justify the price but you've got a list of accessories and with the Make It Yours program you can actually make your own Royal Enfield the way you want it. However, 2,54,000 is a price that is a bit too much. First generation of the Royal Enfield was coming for like 1,87,000 and now it is 2,54,000, 70,000 gain. That is quite a bit of sum if you want the Himalayan. But if you look at the R&D and everything else that Royal Enfield has been improving, this Himalayan is still a beautiful pick for anyone who wants an adventure motorcycle. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, do hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.